Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to construct a narrative and in doing so we're going to be using a story chart. This story chart has six different components in it and we're going to take it piece by piece going through how you construct a narrative. First, there's something called exposition. The three main things that your exposition should establish are your setting, your mood, and your characterizations. The second part of your story is your conflict, which is number two. Conflict is when the story starts and is the driving force behind your plot. There are a couple different general conflicts that you'll see, which is man versus man, which two different people are fighting against each other, man versus self, which is like an interior journey, and man versus nature, which is the man fighting against the forces of nature. The third part of your story is your rising actions, which is this part. Your rising actions are your events which lead up to your climax. These are the events which build suspense within your story, and your rising actions should do one of three things. They should either provide your character with information they might not already know. Action, which mean, just means that these different rising action scenes should have action or fighting in them. Or finally, they can be emotional because these help your readers build attachment to your characters. And the fourth part of your narrative is the climax, which is right here. Your climax is the dramatic peak of your story. It is what determines the end of the conflict. And for example, it might be the battle with the final boss in an action movie. A tip that I can give you is that you might want to write the climax first to make sure the rest of the story builds around it nicely enough for it to make sense while also being surprising. The fifth part of your story are your falling actions, which come in right here. Falling actions are the actions that come as a result of your climax. The climax is supposed to be this satisfying and dramatic moment, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a neat wrap up. It could be that maybe your character makes a choice during the climax that causes them consequences in the future. Lastly, you have your resolution. Your resolution is your ending. It is your what now that says what is going to happen to the characters after the events of the story and how it has affected them. But you should always make sure that something has changed. 